Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by Anita, who is a fellow fashion photographer. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, to you for having me. Thanks for no having worries. Challenge with me. So she has kindly agreed to join me in this challenge. Well, actually, she came up with this really cool idea so we could edit each other's photo and uh, show the results to you guys. So today this video is just going to be showing what I have done to Anita's photo. This was very nerve wracking for me. I've done something similar before with Jessica Basie. Um, this is a little bit different this time though, where we've sort of done it in the sense that we've already edited the photos and now we're just gonna kind of talk through and do a bit of commentary on the photo itself and what we've kind of done to the photos. So make sure you check out Anita's video, which is linked in the description uh, box below. So this is Anita's image that I will be uh, editing today and it's one of my favorites by her because I just really love the coloring in the image and I really love the fact that there's so many different elements going on and I'm quite excited to play around with that in Photoshop and see what colors I can get out of uh, the adjustments and, and see what I can do with my take on it. Uh, at the moment I'm just making some really basic adjustments in Lightroom, uh, adjusting the exposure and some really, really basic uh, coloring adjustments as well. Now I've brought Anita's image into Photoshop from Lightroom and I'm just creating the dodging and burning layers using the curves adjustment layers. And I'm going to start off by dodging and burning the image and just sort of perfecting the skin tone even a little bit more, even though it is really perfect. I'm just gonna even out some of the areas and lighten up parts of the image as well. Now I'm just using the background copy layer to start uh, removing any blemishes or any other inconsistencies in the skin tone and just removing them using the patch tool and the other healing tools. With the burning layer, I'm just going back in now and darkening up the eyebrows and other parts of the image just to make certain features either stand out more or uh, stand out less. Now comes the fun part of editing, and this is going to be getting different colors in the image. And to do this, I am using luminosity masks, which is used through channels in Photoshop. Now I have created a tutorial quite recently on using luminosity masks uh, for highlighting an image, but I will be doing one soon on how to color using them. And this is really something I wanted to use because the image has quite even tone lighting and I wanted some areas to stand out a little bit more and get some more highlights in the image but also uh, being very selective with my coloring and only bringing out certain colors in certain areas of the image.
the moment I'm just going in with some basic adjustment uh, layers in Photoshop and just using my standard techniques in editing, using a few solid colors and selective color to help bring out certain colors and to emphasize parts of the image even more. And now I'm just going in on some of the other layers again and making some final adjustments to the image and adding any last final touches. And the last thing I'm going to do in this editing process is to liquefy parts of the model's hair just to make it seem a little bit more uh, flared out and not so, not so flat in the image. And I'm just sort of giving it that little bit more volume by liquefying it. So I have just sent through uh, the edited version of Anita's photo. And what do you think, Anita? <laughs> yeah, I love it. I think it's such an interesting thing to see my photo edited in a completely different way, especially in terms of colors, um, because I tend to go for much warmer colors and you tend to go for much cooler colors. Um, and I yes. think it's really, really cool to see. Um, I really love the way you kind of, you know, you make the skin look. And I find especially because I think colors were a big part of my struggle as a photographer. So it's yes. kind of lovely to see how different people have different takes on colors on the photos. Um, especially because this was a Nikon file and my Nikon files are much more difficult to color grade than Canon, I find. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, because basically um, you don't have the same kind of setup settings and since I switched to Canon, like, I feel like my colors improved quite a lot. So it, it was yeah. a very difficult photo to edit in terms of colors. Um, yeah. So like, I, think you, I, think you did a, I think you did a great job. Um, I love oh. how her skin looks. I love how, you know, her legs look like this. they're like nice and smooth, but they're like not too smooth. Um, I love the details on the skin. Um, so yeah, no, I really love it. Um, but I think the main, the main difference here is colors. I think, let me see. Yeah, no, I really love her skin. I really love the way it looks. Um, and, um, and yeah, I just think it's really, it's really nice. Oh, that's nice to hear. Isn't, isn't I was so nervous. Isn't Talia, <laughs> isn't Talia like the most beautiful model to retouch as well? She's so beautiful. Yeah, she is. It, I honestly, like it, it was a pretty easy retouch. She was, she was such a beautiful model. Um, but yeah, I did try. Um, I really love the vibe of the photo because I think the colors kind of make it look almost slightly bit more vintagey. Yeah, and it's just yeah. Like, I have to say, like, kind of, like <laughs> every time I do retouching, I guess what's in my mind is like vintage and retro and I don't know, it's yeah. just something that's kind of ingrained in my brain a little bit and that's what I always draw my inspiration from, I think. But that's lovely. That's lovely. Like I find with my own stuff, I kind of, it's it takes me a long time to kind of figure out what I like and I just kind of, I like a lot of the times I would do colors and I wouldn't really be happy with them. So yes. like, it's, it's so nice to have a different perspective and different take from somebody that's kind of like, you know, make you step outside your own comfort zone and kind of outside your own and view your own images in a different light because it, it kind of it changes it drastically. Yeah, it so I really love it. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> it was actually so nerve wracking. I'll, I'll <laughs> for my retouching. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was going to ask actually, like with, your uh in terms of skin retouching how do you usually like to go yeah. about it because i found like in between the two photos i think and mine ended up being very 
probably bordering on maybe overly soft in the skin retouching. I think for me, I was probably going a little bit overboard. But how do you keep a lot of the detail in your images? How do you sort of go about it? I think the main thing is budging and burning for me. Um, however, like I do sometimes take shortcuts and I do soften the skin a tiny bit if I find the model has loads of black texture in her skin. Yes. And, you know, I just don't feel like spending hours and hours and hours dodging and burning, especially when you do a tutorial. You see, like, it's a completely different skin tre treatment when you do super close-up beauty. Yes. And it's yeah. a completely different situation when you do, like, a fashion portrait like this, where, you know, let's face it, nobody's going to be coming super, super close to the model, like, with a little, like, you know, looking glass exactly like, exactly glass. like unless it's gonna be <laughs> exactly yeah exactly. unless it's a beauty shot so like, I, feel really like for, close. I think for beauty yeah i think for beauty it's mostly um dodging and burning and for any fashion shots it's a mix of dodging and burning and using just the brush with the skin color on it's just kind of soften it so just like put the brush brush on like five or ten percent opacity and just like go over the skin a tiny bit with matching the colors on different kind of areas of the face yeah so i think that's the that's the main thing and then i use a lot of patch tool i don't really use um a plaster or you know the healing uh, tool or, or anything yes. like that too much i use the use the other thing and as i said i know there might they might not be the proper ways of doing things but it's just the way i kind of learned and like it's just usually what i find most convenient because to be perfectly honest i don't really enjoy retouching yeah uh, yeah I, I enjoy it i enjoy it much more than i would back in the day because i feel kind of a bit more confident in what i'm doing but at the same time like a challenge like this is fun because it's not my photo so i can kind of play around with it but yeah. i feel like sometimes when i do retouching my own photo i just get really really frustrated yes yeah the result I want i'm usually and quite I'm excited just, no, no. yeah, yeah. like I'm, I'm exactly the same Maybe like going overboard and like you're like oh let's just like smooth the skin and do yeah. this and do that and then you look at it after an hour and you're like oh my gosh i know <laughs> right you, you take a break like whenever i take a break from retouching and i come back to my images i'm like oh what was i doing like oh my god i've done too much like i have to oh, start I from scratch that, i don't remember drinking anything <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, i'm that's, like what have i done to it um good. but yeah i do find that retouching can be very tedious sometimes and i i think if, if I had more of a, a workload at this stage and I'd probably be more inclined to give my photos to a retoucher, obviously someone that I, I trust that can do, yeah. you know, like fit in with, with what I like to do with my images. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it can be quite tedious at times. It used to be like one of my favorite parts of editing. Um, but I, I think now I've just learned to do so much maybe more in camera and on set yeah. that you kind of don't need the retouching to like compensate for as exactly. much. <laughs> exactly. And I just feel like it kind of eats up so much of your time when you have to do retouching as well. And I just yes. feel it's much easier when you can just kind of hand it off to somebody that you, as you said, you trust. It is hard to find, like, I find I'm the kind of person who is very perfectionist. So like, I'm the kind of person yeah. who like thinks that if I don't do something myself, it's not going to be done right. Yeah, and I think that's what I'm going to with most of the time because I give it to yeah. a retoucher and then I'm like, nah, I don't really like it. Yeah. Like I can't, like sometimes I can't even do it myself, but I'm yeah. still not happy with what the person does. And yeah, I think that's it's where so I'm hard. Kind of it is stuck. really hard. I think most like creatives sort of have that feeling in the back of their mind that like if they don't do it themselves, then it's just not going to be. It's not ever going to be good enough, or it's not going to be like yeah. how you want it to be. Um, exactly. Yeah, it's it's really so, hard, but. Sometimes you just got to take the pressure off. <laughs> it's so it's so much like work as it is sometimes. Um, exactly. But yeah. So the challenges that I kind of found with uh, editing someone else's photo, obviously it's like pretty nerve wracking because it's not your own photo and you do want to do it like justice. Um, but initially I really wasn't sure what color scheme to go with because the warmness that you had on it originally looked, it just – was really really nice and I really liked that effect and I was like oh do I really want to go cool with this image so initially I was a little bit confused on what sort of direction to go with it uh and also with the lighting it was so beautiful but like very um one dimensional in terms of the fact that she was in the shade as well so I was like oh how do I how do I bring out the highlights I've been really like getting into bringing out highlights and images lately 
And um, I was I was finding that a little bit difficult to sort of like keep bringing them out and trying not to push it too far because I can really push it way too far with skin retouching and, and lighting sometimes. Um, but they were the main challenges. I mean, like everything else was like it was beautifully shot. So I really didn't have too many like issues with editing, to be honest. <laughs> like it, it, you made it pretty easy for me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up or comment below and let us know what you thought of the photo. Be sure to watch Anita's video, which is listed in the description box below, as I said before. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.